Hello, and welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I am Maria Antoinette, and today we are going to take this very common floor lamp and we are gonna make it unique and beautiful. Let's get started. All right, guys, you have seen this lamp everywhere. You literally can get it for under eight bucks. It's a staple in a lot of college rooms, maybe even in your home. But today, we are going to jazz it up. How are we gonna jazz it up, you say? two liter soda pop bottles. So our first step is going to be removing all labels, all of that good stuff, but there's also this date on it. We're gonna remove that as well because we're going to be spray painting these eventually and the paint just won't take over that. So I'm gonna be using a little bit of fingernail polish remover. Wipe that on off. Super easy. Now let's get to the cutting. Before we start on the next step, we want to make sure that we take all safety precautions to the max. Put down a cutting board because we are about to cut with a utility knife. We're going to take our two liter bottle and we're going to lay it on its side. We're going to go right at the neck. So right here, there's like a little ridge. We want to cut as close to that as possible. And just like that, we have the top off. A little bit of muscle goes a long way for this project. Now for our second part, we are going to cut this two liter bottle in half, but that is not going to be the final cut. There are two natural ridges at the top of the bottom. For one of them, which will be the bottom piece of what we're making, I'm going to cut at the very beginning of the second ridge. I'm going to go in using my scissors. I'm making a triangle so I can get in and cut out a large chunk, which allows me to get my scissors in and cut directly on that line. All right, we have our first part done. You will not be using the rest of your bottle, so we'll just get that out the way. And then we will start on our second bottle. Now, we will be cutting the first part just like we did in the first bottle, but the second part will be cut different, so make sure you're paying attention. Same thing we're gonna do is cut the bottle in half. Now, for this second bottle, we wanna make sure instead of cutting at the bottom ridge, we wanna cut at the top ridge. And what's gonna happen is these two are going to fit together. Just wait for it. So let's go ahead and get this cut. Our next step is to find the natural connection that the bottle maker made. This is a seam in the bottle. It goes all the way from the top and the bottom. We're gonna follow that seam, and this is going to be how we're going to wrap it around the lamp stand. I think you guys are gonna start seeing where we're going with this. So we have everything cut out. As you can see, these two fit together. Now, I have a tip for you. You need to glue these prior to spray painting them. Yes, we are going to be spray painting them. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the one with the ridge first and only. We want to make sure that our glue gun is on low. So, it might look like a glue mess right now, but the spray paint will cover all of that. Another great tip to do is to do a little bit of glue here, the top, do a little bit more glue and here at the top and go all the way around until you get to the split. And it's going to give you a great, beautiful cylinder looking ornament like this. So that's one down, we have six more to go, meaning we're gonna make seven of these, which means you're gonna need 14 of those two liter pop bottles. So uh, you don't need to see me do that again. Just simply follow these steps and do it for each one of them. And this is the opportune time for you to use your social media to call out for all two liter bottles 
or even throw that party you've been itching to throw. So for our next step, we are going to be taking napkin rings. These are simple wooden napkin rings you can find at any type of craft store. I think I got a bag of these for $4. You're gonna need nine of these rings, okay? So let's get into how we're going to use them for this project. I have my handheld wooden cutter and I'm going to take it to the base of the wooden ring. Seriously, it's that simple. These are so easy to cut. I'm gonna follow that line on the other side of the ring. And I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna do that for the rest of these and I need to have nine in total. All right, so I'm gonna gather up all of my items that I just made and I'm gonna go outside and get these spray painted. Let's go. So we have everything painted and everything dry. Now it's time to assemble. But before we get started, I do wanna give you some tips so that you don't run into any type of hiccups when you're making this at home. When you are spraying your napkin rings, of course we're cutting them in half, but we're spraying a lot and we don't wanna cut them in half and then take hours trying to figure out which ones piece perfectly together. When I cut them, I laid them side by side knowing that that was the match. When they were dry, I picked them up and I put a little bit of painter's tape on them to keep them together. But you'll be able to see all of this when you see me put them together. So we wanna squeeze that together. You can use the tape that we previously had to hold it in place. Now we're ready to add our first bolt. Open, slide into place. Again, we wanna use our heat gun on low and we wanna do small dots along the way or small lines. We do not need to do the whole thing all at once. So I'm going to overlap those, holding it down, really focusing on the tops to assure that it's adhered together. All right, that is dry and in place and it fits perfectly inside the ring. And we'll just repeat that until we get to the top. So we are at the last part. And this is absolutely gorgeous, but we wanna make sure that it has a definite end or a beginning. So we're going to double up our rings at the top and we're going to glue those together as well. All right guys, so you can see that I put on here a custom shade that I had around my house. And of course it's been adorned with this amazing pom-pom fringe. Now you can use the shade that comes with this lamp, but of course you wanna pull it all together. If you guys have ever customized a lamp in your own home, comment below and let me know what you did. If you think you're going to do this lamp, make sure that you tag us on social media. You can definitely check us out over on HGTV Handmade on Instagram. And give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.